Yo, what's up guys? It's Darius, your friendly neighborhood fisherman. And today, we are tying a bucktail bass jig. Last time we tied uh, crappie jigs, so today we're going to tie bass jigs. Uh, we're going to tie it in like a shad imitation color with some blue on top, white on the bottom. So, yeah, we'll start uh, on the top. So we've got this, I'm not sh exactly sure how heavy this uh, jig head is, but I think it's like quarter of ounce, you could, all the varies where you, how deep you want to fish and stuff, so jig head's personal preference. So I've got this blue craft uh, fur, yeah craft fur, so just like the crappie jig, just take a chunk of it, cut it off gonna grab some here I'm probably gonna have to probably want to put multiple layers in and I forgot to dress my hook so I will do that real quick so for this for a bass jig, you kind of only need to top, to dress the this part up here because that's that's really where you're gonna uh, tie. There we go. There we here we go. First layer of craft fur on and to conserve space on here I think I will actually trim that up with the good scissors okay now I'll take a couple more wraps to Pull that in more and grab some more craft fur. I think this is about, I think this is good enough. Yeah, I'd say so. Got a big old chunk of that craft fur right here. Okay. Once again, trying to conserve space on the jig head so I will go through here and trim off some of the excess now I'm actually going to take off this jig head and spin it upside down to add the next color. Put that in nice and tight. But see if it's here. Um, yeah, there we go. Got a lot of stuff floating around here. Before I put in add the white, I'm gonna put some crystal flash. A couple strands of crystal flash just add as a little extra attractant just pull dropped it Oh 
So what I do is I take like the full full strand of crystal flash, uh, fold it in half, but since it's still pretty long, I'm gonna actually fold it in half again. So that's a nice good length there. And just tie that that end straight on without doing anything. And then I'll cut this out so it will be able to expand. But I think I'm going to do that later with when I want to trim up all the trim up the whole jig or fly. So here we go. Let's I'm gonna go in with the white. Um, gonna do the same thing. Cut up, cut off some chunks, and tie it in. Okay, I think I got a pretty good amount. Here we go. Yeah, it's, it's a good amount right there. So just pinch it on, hold it, and wrap it down. And once again, to conserve space, gonna go through with the scissors. Give it a nice little haircut that we're going to actually wrap over and cover up. So, I'm going to take a couple more wraps. There's a few things that you could add in from here. I don't think I have too much space for it. But you can always tie in some chenille, which you got. Yeah, I've got space, so I'm going to tie it on. So, want to get your uh, thread back a little bit just, just before the start of the fur. And then you take the end of the chenille, place it on top or wherever, and just wrap down the tip. And then bring your thread up, up front, right behind the jig head. And then you just wrap on your chenille, just layer it on. This will kind of cover up the ugliness of where you tied it down. See, that only took like th two or three wraps. And you can just tie that off. And there you go. And then that that's it. You can cut off your chenille and pull out your whip finisher or how you, however you want to end off the fly. I like this whip finishing tool because it's a nice strong method and quick. we go. Then pull out the head cement nail polish glue and give that a nice coat. Keep that all together because bouncing it off rocks and bass eating this, tear it up. And now it's time to uh, neat make this fly neat because that is a pretty ugly, f ugly dang fly. So I think I'm gonna want about 
that long, maybe a little bit longer. I'm going to go about that length. That's a nice, good shad length. And I'm just going to take grab it right here and cut it. So then I cut off all that, actually cut off where the flash was uh, bent, curved. So now it's all straight. Fairly even. Still has some of that unevenness, which makes it look a little bit more realistic. Got a nice chunk of flash. So I'm actually going to hold that in there. And on the sides, add some more head cement. Because that will really preserve this fly. Give it more give it a longer life in the mouth of bass just putting dabs right on the side little dabs of the glue and you can tie this in a whole bunch of different colors you can tie it in chartreuse chartreuse and white uh, Tied in black and blue. Black and blue is a nice uh, color, great color, fishing color in murky dark waters. But there we go. Nice shad imitation jig right there. Going to be slaying them bass this this season so that is going to do it for today's video if you have any suggestions or requests for types of fish that I tie flies for or talk about or any just you have a fly that you want me to show put it in the comments and that's going to do it in a couple weeks actually two weeks uh, I'm going to go fly fishing for some uh, big old trout, so I'm gonna m try to record the video there. But yeah, that's gonna do it. So make sure you go down down below, like it if you're new, hit the subscribe button, and from me to you, peace.